Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. This is the 2011 project. This is another project financed by Channel Benefactor. And um, it's one of two guns that are going to be produced. One for him, one for me. And the 2011, created as near as I know by STI, has a polymer grip frame that holds a double stack magazine in this case with a capacity of 15 plus one. That is affixed to a metal chassis or frame, which is the serial numbered part, and then it takes a lot of 1911 components, thus the name 2011. These guns are very popular with competition shooters, and um, some law enforcement agencies have adopted them. The advantages it holds over a more traditional style of duty gun is largely in the extremely good 1911 trigger. It's very crisp, very short, light, and has a very short reset, which greatly facilitates rapid fire. So they're quite the thing for high level competition, and they are very expensive by my standards at least. Entry level 2011s start at about fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars, and they go up to about seven thousand. So um, I was asked when I did my nine millimeter 1911 project, why isn't it a 2011? And the answer is simply, I can't afford the components. But I still can't afford the components. But um, as I said, multiple channel benefactors have aided me in this endeavor. So what we have, the frame or chassis, is from Gem Guns LLC, who it's one of the things they do, and they have a very, very good reputation. The handle, the grip section, is an old STI grip section, and it attaches here and at these two screws, and is extremely solid. There's no play in it at all and it fit very well on the gem guns frame. Uh, the slide I purchased off eBay, and uh, I think I got it from Fusion Firearms, but don't quote me. The barrel is a four and a half inch bull barrel. Originally it was a five inch bull barrel, but I have five inch guns. I have three and a half inch guns. So I thought I'd do something in between. And the bull barrel is ported as is the slide, which I did. The So, quick shout out to my subscribers on Patreon. Uh, this all costs money and you're helping more than you know, and especially to my channel, Benefactors, that make projects like this possible. So, to the tabletop. So, the gun is not quite a full-size gun. It has a four and a half inch barrel and slide. It has the 120 millimeter grip module, which is a notably shorter than a full length. And um, it does not have a magwell funnel because I noticed something peculiar about these. You have a gaping maw of a magwell and a narrow magazine top. Hey, it's already got a magwell funnel. And since the intent of the gun is for concealed carry, Making it just that much more compact seemed like a good idea. I may round this corner a bit, not a full bobtail, but a little bit, just to keep that from printing quite so much. So, the slide started as a six inch slide with what's called a unique cut. And the unique cut is straight here. Grab a 1911 slide. So you can see the normal slide is cut here. And with this style of frame, I did not want that cut, obviously. So this is a frame from, steel frame from Gem Guns LLC. And it was originally full length. The slide was originally a unfeatured, meaning there's no serrations or anything got in it, a round top, uh, for a six inch long slide. 
I got those because those were what was available with the unique cut at that moment. And um, I just cut it to length, as I will do on the full-size gun. So I very, very flat topped it, as you can see, and then cut 45 degree angle here and here, so it's tri-topped, all in the interest of removing weight. Um, I did other weight saving measures, which we'll get to later. I also filed a port in the slide, marked it, and then cut a matching port in the bull barrel. And that seems quite effective. Uh, the guide rod from, is from Extreme Gunworks, as is elements of the trigger group. And I believe, the, I'm not sure if the grip safety came from them or not. Um, now this was a standard STI 120 millimeter grip module, which I have done custom check, uh, not checkering, custom texturing on using a Maltese cross shaped five millimeter tip on the wood burner and then sanded it down. So this provides an extremely grippy, secure grip without being abrasive or unpleasant. And I carried that out under the trigger guard, which have really helps lock the offhand in place. And this also helps. This is a clonimus uh, gas pedal slide stop. And these magazines do not lock the slide open on empty. And so it doesn't matter that this doesn't either. So, uh, now this grip module came with an extended magazine release, which is really nice because I can actually reach it without changing my grip notably on the gun. Handy feature. It is threaded so that you can put a shoe on it, an extended shoe for competition, but this isn't a competition gun, so I'm not going to do that. Now, I carried the texturing all the way around the grip frame over the polymer mainspring housing that came with the module. And um, I put a heavier mainspring in because the one that came in the grip in the mainspring housing that came with the grip module was not reliably igniting primers. Now, the grip safety is deactivated because this mainspring housing holds it in too far for it to function. I don't care. Now, this, the slide had no serrations or anything whatsoever on it, and so I cut these serrations here, but they're cut in very deep at the front so that they slope to the rear, and it provides an extremely secure grip. I call it a charging handle. I also did 30 line per inch serrations on the front of the slide and just below it, so that if you have to rack it against a belt, clothing, or whatever, it will work much better. Uh, the front sight is just a generic tall front sight that came from an EGW also. So those are the basic features. Um, it does have an ambidextrous safety and it's one that I've used on a different gun. I changed that one out for a bigger paddle because that's a competition gun. And uh, the trigger pull is, it's what I think of as a very intentional trigger because there's a little bit of take up and then you hit a hard wall before the trigger goes, but it goes with virtually no over travel and the reset is extremely short, around 12 thousandths of an inch as near as I can tell. So the gun behaves very well indeed in rapid fire because the combination of the weight of the frame, the porting, the 10 pound recoil spring, it all works together. I mean, uh, 1911 or 2011s really a system of systems, as they say. And um, as a carry gun, this one is being idealized for rapid, accurate fire, much like a competition pistol. And uh, I've only put about 100 rounds through it so far, 
but I'm very pleased with the way it came out. And I haven't done any of the finishing or blending work yet, so you can see bits here like this. And I haven't really done any finishing at all on the slider frame, but this will eventually be finished in probably black gun coat. And I did the full bull nose treatment on it and a deep conical crown. So I also broke the edges here, but I don't really see any need to bevel them. So very, very happy with the way this is coming out so far. And the grip is just big enough for my big mitts, but no bigger than it needs to be. And uh, I really enjoy shooting it, which is important because if you enjoy shooting a gun, you'll practice more. Like that was gonna be an issue with me. So it's early days yet. There's still a great deal of work to do. Um, this slide frame combination required a lot of fitting as did some of the internals but you know that's kind of what a custom gun is all about oh and um part of why it needed fitting is because it is extremely tight there is no play in this so as i said early days but a hell of a good start now, this is not a lightweight gun by any stretch of the imagination. It weighs 38 ounces, which is a full 10 ounces more than my usual carry 1911 with the alloy frame. But honestly, with a good gun belt and a good holster, it's really not an issue for me. I'm a fairly big guy and I sort of came up in a time when polymer frame guns were not yet a thing. So, it doesn't feel that heavy to me. Uh, the weight and balance actually feels very, very good in the hand. And the grip is ultra secure. Sights are good, just almost as if it were made for me. Imagine that. So I'll keep you updated as the project goes on because there's a whole other gun to put together. And this is not going to be a super fast process because a very large amount of fitting was required to get the slide on and to get everything working properly. And there is no play in this slide. Another thing I haven't done yet is smoothed everything up. It still makes more noise than I want it to. But the important thing is it's working. So I'll keep you abreast of developments as the project goes on, but we're off to a banging start. If you like the video, Please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content. It really helps the channel, as do comments. So, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.